Hello everyone, welcome to our channel HR Trends. As we have told you in our previous video that we have divided job analysis into different parts. So this is the next part of the job analysis video. I hope that you will like it. Uh, we are going to discuss uh, in it the purpose of job analysis and techniques of job analysis. Please watch this video till the end so that you will get the beneficial information. Thank you. Uh, before going to the next slide, please subscribe to our channel for latest updated videos and press bell icon for the latest notification of HR videos. Thank you. Okay, we are going to discuss the purposes of job analysis. It is essential to look into the usefulness and reasons for doing job analysis. Below are some uses of and reasons for job analysis. The first one is determination of labor needs. Job analysis allows an organization to assess its staff or employees needs and make suitable preparation for it. Then comes recruitment and selection. The information obtained through job analysis formulates the basis upon which an organization recruits, selects, develop and perform orientation program, train, transfers and promotes its employees. Then comes wage and salary administration. Employee information such as previous experience, educational qualification, and the risks and hazards involved in performing specific jobs helps in salary and wage and administration. For example, if a job has got more risks involved in it, then obviously the people working in that environment will have more salaries and uh, more benefits. So that's how the purpose of job analysis work for an organization. Okay, another important function of job analysis is to do the job reengineering. Job analysis provides information which enables the changing of jobs in order to permit personnel with specific characteristics and qualifications to perform them. It has two forms. The first one is industrial engineering activity, which is concerned with operational analysis, work simplification methods, and improvements in the workplace and its measurement. It aims at improving efficiency, reducing unit labor costs, and establishing the production standard which the employee is expected to meet. The other one is human engineering activity, which takes into consideration human capabilities, both physical and psychological and forms the basis for complex operations of industrial administration, increased efficiency, and better productivity. So these are the main purpose and uses of job analysis, which are beneficial for the organizational efficiency and to improve its productivity. Now we are going to discuss the techniques of job analysis. The first one is personal observation. In this scenario, a human resource manager observes the employees who are actually doing the job. He looks out for the materials and equipment used, take notes of the working conditions and possible hazards, and tries to appreciate all that the work involves. It is important to state that observation could be done directly by the human resource manager or indirectly through the employee's supervisors. 
it can also be done by external observers specially selected to watch employees performing their job whether done directly or indirectly the employees constitute the major source of getting information for job analysis then comes another technique which is known as individual interview though this method is time consuming and comparatively costly and could be used in place of observation it can also be used to support personal observation in the case where observation does not provide the human resource manager with enough information needed for job analysis interview can be carried out in the form of oral form written structured or unstructured is the method of asking employees certain questions and the answer obtained are recorded then comes data collecting questionnaires a questionnaire is a research technique which is usually divided into three parts first one is introduction the second one is demographic variables and research questions it contains questions with rating scale used to elicit responses from the respondents for the purpose of finding answers to certain research questions or testing a set of hypotheses. In gathering information for job analysis, questionnaires, whether structured or open-ended, are sent out to job holders for completion and are returned to the human resource manager for analysis, explanation, and presentation. The last one is review of long records. Information for job analysis could also be obtained from the daily record of duties maintained by the employees. It is appropriate to note that this method is the least used method due to its limitation of not providing data on supervisor relationship the equipment used and working condition moreover it is time consuming thank you very much for watching our video i hope you will like it please subscribe to our channel and give your valuable feedback to us thank you once again